Chris Carrington, Palmer Mayor, taking you five days into the future for our November 28th Palmer City Council meeting. So it's still budget time. I believe Chief Chad will be there to, at our meeting to present the rescue contract he's been working on with the borough for quite a while. And there's still, uh, still some issues to be worked through, I guess you could say. I've got concerns about the pay plan and where we've still been wrestling with some of the ways of implementing that or not implementing that. So that'll be, I think, probably a lot of the highlights of that. As far as the agenda, well, hey, there's a link in my report that gets you to the agenda. And uh, the last of, uh, meetings and events that I've been at, well, let's start with Deputy Mayor Carlene Anzalotti attended the uh, Veterans Day celebration in Wasilla on my behalf for the city and uh, did our proclamation for the Veterans Day, which was very good. Uh, November 15th, they did a wrap up of what happened on the 14th for the city council meetings at Radio Free Palmer. Also attended open house at Wolf Architects on the 15th at the depot. And I think a lot of people, the public were there and attended the Valley Manager's Mayor's Meeting, which was at the borough this last time. Also, there's still the Matsu Borough Comprehensive Plan going on. I believe there's still a couple virtual meetings. And in my uh, report, there's some links to uh, how to participate in those virtual meetings for the borough's comprehensive plan. And with the Palmer Library update, the public gave some feedback at the, the public meeting that the Gary Wolf of Architects has hosted. And then uh, December 12th, they'll be presenting to the City Council, and there may be an opportunity there for the Council to give some direction on how to go move forward uh, as far as the budget and how things are going. And uh, also concerning libraries, back in November 17th, the Attorney General, Treg Taylor, issued a press release with some different information about parental notification, indecent materials to minors and more. Uh, also, there was a letter to librarians and a, a, a frequently asked questions that he put out as well. I've attached those uh, documents to my uh, report. And I've asked the, uh, I've asked our attorney to review those materials and early next year she'll come back with a report of how that goes with our procedures and policies that we've had and then she's already been reviewing our policies internally um, but I've asked her to specifically look at the things the AG said and uh, report to us on that. And I just want to remind people when it comes to speaking in public a friend of mine Mike always reminded me of the things to emphasize you know, when you're talking, dealing with other people in public. If one is good. You need to talk about things that are good. You need to talk about things that are just, what is right. You need to have kindness. Treasure and value what is kind and merciful. And humility. He's got to speak with humility. And it goes very well with kindness. But in trying to get your point across and trying to convince people to take a different, uh, different action on things, you need to keep these things in mind. These are the things that actually will change people's minds and hearts and bring about real change. And it's coming the end of November at Thanksgiving. Hopefully everyone had a good Thanksgiving. And behind me, I was looking for an interesting place to take a video. And so this is the Palmer Water Tower. And uh, that's the fire people that have their, their fire truck there. And they are working, I believe, on probably lights for the tower for Christmas. The Colony Christmas coming up. And remember, Colony Christmas is coming up, I think it's the 8th, 9th, 10th? I believe it is. That weekend, the second weekend in December. So, this has been Steve Carrington bringing you five days into the future for the November 28th Palmer City Council meeting.